Hi Aquarius and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for all your support on my channel, for your likes, comments, subscribes and donations. It really means a lot and welcome if you're new. So this is the September 2021 reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Remember it's general. So let's start with an oracle card. Okay, so it seems some of you have a change in the wind. Something that could be unexpected or this could be something you're thinking about because we've got the thinker here. Now, a few different things. Some of you could be thinking about a relationship that you're in. Is it still for you or do you want to move on? If you're not in a relationship, some of you, this is um, your work. Some of you are thinking about changing what you do. And for some of you, this is around your home. Some of you are thinking about moving. You're being guided in a particular direction. Um, notice the stars around you. It's a destined path for you. 44 here, a double number. So you might be seeing signs that are guiding you, like numbers, number synchronicities. Also, you may be having quite vivid dreams right now, and you also might be getting visions that are signs coming to you, you know, showing you these ideas for this change. Let's take some tarot. I'm really getting a change of profession for some of you coming through. Some of you work in education. You might be thinking about working from home. Okay, three major arcana. So yeah, this is definitely being divinely orchestrated. So a lot of you are trying to manifest this change. You're visualising and that's coming through here as well actually. Um, you might have a vision board. This is something you could consider doing. You know, where do you want to be? Some of you have really been spiritually growing and this is making you want this change. I'm really getting education again, um, or helping people expand their mind, health work. It's interesting I said about working for yourself, with the Empress, you know, being very independent. Working from home, as I was feeling. So you're going to be very um, stable and abundant. Some of you need to really reflect on this decision, on what, what your purpose is. Now for some of you, um, we're strongly getting twin flame energy here with the Empress Four of Wands. So this could be who you're manifesting. Or well, this could be you, the Empress Divine Feminine, manifesting your one. So 
So you could be thinking about them when you reflect, thinking about what you could have together. And you could be very abundant together. You might also be picking up on their thoughts. There could be some telepathy here. You could be seeing 11-11 as a sign. So we've got Gemini, Virgo, Libra, Taurus. So it's quite clear some of you really do want this new beginning, this change, something you're passionate about. It could be very fruitful if you do this. But what holds you back for some of you are your thoughts negative thoughts, things from the past you need to release, things you need to express. Now I'm really getting telepathy again, could be happening between you and your counterpart. Now this could be in dreams, or you just sometimes feel their energy. But this is also very heavy on you. And there's a lot of passion between you and this person. Aries energy. Let's clarify. Okay. So some of you have been at a crossroads in terms of this change. You know, you've got two paths you could take, but I think you're going to know within what it is you want to do. Some of you may receive a message from someone who knows what they want. So I feel this is the person on your mind. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this person is going to want to see you. We've got reconciliation here. This is someone you've missed. And there's a lot of passion there. This person may have been through a separation recently. This could have been you. There was some betrayal. There was a third party in that situation, whoever that was for. Let's see the potential outcome for you, Aquarius. Well, it's quite beautiful. We got the Emperor. We had the Empress here. So definitely Twin Flame energy with the Four of Wands as well. Both of you, you know, leveled up. Um, this person really will know what they want and try to work at this with you. This, you know, this person might have ghosted you, so you may be quite defensive if this happens. 
and you're being guided to stand your ground. Yeah, I feel that this person has a family and they leave that situation because they know what they want. Aries again. Yeah, so again, this was quite painful for some of you when this person left your life because you knew what you wanted and this may confuse you if they return. Okay, so there could be a delay to this communication because I really feel this person is leaving someone behind. We've got a widow here. They could have been married. A few different messages. Um, as I felt before, there could have been some betrayal that went on in that marriage. Cheating, um, deception, and then there's an argument, and your person becomes single. But the other message is um, this person may really, they've got a way with words. And um, so when they come towards you, they might rub you up the wrong way. <laughs> You might have a battle of the minds here, but this person does want to see you. Because I feel a lot of you want answers if this is someone returning. Now, it doesn't have to be a return. It could be, for some of you, the first time you meet this person A bit of a stubborn energy, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm getting there. Let's take some Romance Angels. So there could be children involved here as I was feeling this person I feel has a family could be you as well take some time out with that hermit same message really go within disconnect think about what you want let go of control issues let this unfold naturally some of you might have been too fixated on what's going to happen you know with that thinking energy you are air signs, so you do thinking well, but sometimes we need to just let it go. So forgiving and learning could be needed here. Definitely release the past if there's anything you're holding on to. Because we had that, you know, argument come out there, and that would be because you're holding on to something from the past and there's nothing wrong with talking but any sort of anger or resentment that comes through that's telling you something that needs to be healed so this is your soulmate for a lot of you very strong connection anyway and we've had twin flames as well and this could ascend to a high level of commitment We've got, you know, marriage here as well, if that's what you want. This person will know what they want. I feel it's more you now, Aquarius, who needs to decide. It's up to you.
Okay, so I'm getting the initial S for sugar and E. Let's take a spirit animal oracle. So chameleon, act as if. Here's that visualising that we had before, acting as though it's already happening. Wow, that really links here as well. Dream the world into being. So whatever it is you want, you can manifest back to that magician same sort of message you know you are very powerful if you're twin flames in particular see the big picture like the giraffe yeah rise above anything that doesn't serve you with this change that's coming be in the yeah be here now be in the present moment Try not to focus too much on the past or what's going to happen. So these control issues, for some of you, are like flying into the future too much. It's okay to visualise. Put it out there and then let it go, though. Don't hold on to it. Be loyal to what you love with the dog. Yeah, a lot of you are loyal. To someone here you haven't let go of in your heart. This person, I feel as well, will be loyal to you and a rebirth is assured. So here's that change. This reminds me of the hanged man, the bat, seeing things from a higher perspective, like the giraffe. And the number five for change. Okay, we've also got 29, breaking down to 11, 19, breaking down to a 1. So a lot of 1s, definitely a new beginning with this change for a lot of you. Let's take some charms. So we've got the horse for strength, determination, triumphant. This horse is galloping, so things may happen very quickly here. The teddy bear, so yeah, again, children, I feel could be involved here with the empress emperor. It's definitely like parental energy, but this can also be the healing that I feel some of you need to do. Um, yeah, I'm actually feeling it in my heart chakra, and it's interesting, there is a heart here on this teddy, so it could be something linked to your inner child, needing to love yourself first, with that empress in particular. With the teapot, let, let out how you feel, first of all. Um, you might want to confide with someone who you trust over a cup of tea. And we've got the anchor, so yeah, I'm feeling stability here. 
Also some deep emotions that might come out. So this is why you're being guided to try to release now because they may come out in the wrong way for some of you like a bit sideways um, if you speak with this person okay Aquarius I hope you've enjoyed this reading please do comment if it resonates sending lots of love and I'll see you soon